In this lecture, we're going to learn how to operate our Kali Linux virtual machine. The first thing we need to do is power on the VM. To do this, right-click on the VM and choose Start, Normal Start. You may also left-click on the VM and choose the Start button that's at the top of the VirtualBox Manager window. After we press the Start button, we need to wait a few minutes for the virtual machine to power on. This shouldn't take any longer than two minutes to complete. Note that you can press right control and the letter F as in Foxtrot to bring the VM into full screen mode. To exit full screen mode, again, press right control and F. Once a virtual machine powers on, you will be presented with the login screen. Enter the login information that was provided in the description field of the VM. In case you miss this information, the default username is root and the default password is T-O-O-R. Once you've entered this information, press the sign in button and wait for the desktop to load. In the top right hand corner of our screen, from left to right we have our workspaces, screen capture controls, network information, sound settings, and power options. Workspaces allow you to keep your programs and windows organized and separated. When you first log in, you will only have one workspace by default. To open a new workspace, you need to at least have one application running. Click on the terminal icon on the left hand side of the screen. Once the terminal is loaded, you'll notice that we have an additional workspace. By default, you will always have a blank workspace, or one that does not have any applications open. We can now click the Workspaces button and choose the second workspace. Like we said before, this workspace is blank and there's no open applications inside. If we select the Files icon and open the File Browser, you'll notice that there's a third workspace that is created. Again, this new workspace is blank. If we left click on the terminal, it will switch us back to Workspace 1, where we originally had the terminal open. If you would like to open a separate terminal in Workspace 3, first, switch over to Workspace 3, right click on the terminal icon, and choose New Window. You may also use the middle mouse button on the terminal to quickly open a new window. Now you can see the new terminal window appears, however, we are still in Workspace 3. If you left click on the terminal at this point, it will switch you between all the different terminal instances that are open throughout the different workspaces. To choose a particular instance of the terminal, you may right click on the terminal icon and choose the desired instance. Also notice that we have two circles to the left of the terminal. This represents the two instances we currently have running. We also have a single circle to the left of the files browser and this again represents the single instance that we have running. All of these other applications work in the exact same way as the terminal, meaning you can use them in multiple workspaces or you can have multiple instances running at one time. In the top left hand corner of the screen we have applications and places. You will use the applications drop down when you know exactly what tool you are looking for. If you need to search for an application, click the show applications button at the bottom of the favorites bar. You will be presented with a list of applications and you are free to begin typing in your search at any time. Let's search for and launch the application Tweak Tool. You can use the Tweak Tool to customize various things about your operating system. You may use it to change your desktop background, customize workspaces, add extensions, change fonts, manage your power settings, and much more. Feel free to change anything you'd like and make this virtual machine feel like it's your own. Once you're done, close out of the Tweak Tool window. The next thing we're going to learn is how to create a user account. In the top right hand corner of the screen, select the drop down arrow and choose the settings button. Left click on users. Next choose the plus button in the bottom left hand corner of the window. This will bring up the add user screen. I'm going to type in my full name. I'm going to go with the username that it's automatically created for me. Next, I'm going to choose set a password now and I'm going to create my password. I need to retype in this information to verify. 
And once the password has been confirmed, I can click Add in the top right corner. We can now use this user account to log into this workstation or complete actions in the terminal. We'll cover more about using different user accounts in the terminal in another lecture. One last setting that is optional but you may want to configure is the auto lock feature. By default, this operating system is configured to lock if there's been no keyboard or mouse inputs for five minutes. While it's a great security feature, it can be very frustrating if you're required to repeatedly enter your password while you're trying to follow along with my lectures. If you'd like to disable this feature or extend the amount of time before lockout, click the drop down arrow in the top right corner of your screen. Again, choose the settings button. Next, choose the power option. Under power saving, you'll see the blank screen setting. Currently, it's set to five minutes. If you click the drop down list, you'll see a variety of options. I'm gonna set mine to never. You can choose whatever option you're comfortable with. Once you've made your selection, close the window. We're now ready to either log off or power off our virtual machine. To log off, click the drop down arrow in the top right hand corner of the screen. Select the root account drop down and choose log out. If you'd like to turn off the virtual machine, select the power button in the bottom right corner. You can choose cancel, restart, or power off. Note that if you do not make a selection within 60 seconds, the virtual machine will automatically power off. And that's all we need to do in this lecture. Great job, and I'll see you in the next one.